Hello everyone, this is Mark Schoolman for AzureStack.eu and AzureStack.tv and today I'm going to show you how to create a hybrid connectivity between your Azure Stack environment and an Azure environment. I've opened actually the both portals, on the left side you see the Azure portal and on the right side my Azure Stack portal. What I've done, I've created an ARM template and we'll go over it and we're going to deploy this ARM template to Azure and to Azure Stack. So let's dive into the Azure deploy.json file, the, temp the Azure template, which we're going to deploy. If we take a look at the parameters, we have some parameters we need to supply on deployment and uh, storage account, we're going to deploy two VMs. We're going to specify the admin username and the admin password. Uh, we need the DNS name for public IP. Please note that this is not available in Azure Stack at the moment. <coughs> we need to specify the Windows OS version we're going to deploy, an address prefix for the VNet, a subnet within the VNet, and the gateway subnet where we're going to connect the gateway to, and we're going to connect the side-to-side -side tunnel, so we need a local gateway IP address and a local gateway address prefix. So then we have defined some variables, and those variables are actually some static variables to, that are being used during the deployment of a template. And here we have the resources we're going to deploy eventually. We start with the network security group, uh, we're going to deploy a storage account where we're going to deploy the virtual hard disk for our VMs. We need a public IP address for a VM. We need a public IP address for the gateway. Uh, we need uh, the virtual network, of course, to deploy the virtual network interfaces in for the VM1 and for VM2. Um, next is we're going to uh, deploy a local network gateway. This is actually the other end of the tunnel. We need a virtual network gateway. So this is the gateway that is going to be deployed in our VNet. Then we need a load balancer. Uh, in this demo I'm going to uh, show you how load balancers are being deployed in Azure and Azure Stack. We need to have an availability set, and in this availability set, two virtual machines will be deployed. So this is VM number one, and this is VM number two. So what I've done is, uh, for these parameters, actually I created two parameter files. Uh, we have the Azure deploy.parameter file, which is going to define my parameters for my Azure deployment. And I've created an Azure stack deploy.parameters.json file which are going to define my parameters in my Azure Stack deployment. Then I've created a PowerShell scripts, which are going to deploy the both solutions, actually one to Azure and one to Azure Stack. So let's take a look. Let's first start Azure, because the gateway deployment in Azure will take a much longer time than in Azure Stack. So let's get started. Uh, I need to log into my Azure account. And I need to see where. Here we go. I will log in in the background. <coughs> okay, now we're logged in. I'm going to specify my subscription. And then I'm going to create a new resource group called Hybrid Cloud. It's not available yet, so it will be created. And what I'm actually doing is I'm create I'm taking this template file because I uploaded these templates which you've seen here into my GitHub repository. So if we take a look there. You actually see the same template that we have defined. Okay, so let's go back to our PowerShell and we're going to create the resource group and put the deployment settings in a variable and then we're going to start the deployment for the Azure deployment. So now in the background the deployment has started and when we log into the Azure portal, let's take the right one and go to resource groups 
and refresh we have a hybrid cloud resource group and uh, let's take a look into this resource group and we see that in the background the resources are being deployed the name of my deployment and we see that the deployment is starting <coughs> As I don't know the IP address in my Azure Stack environment yet, I just used the bogus IP address 1.2.3.4 and now we'll go over to the Azure Stack deployment where I will actually do the same. Once we know IP addresses, we will connect them together and we will be able to have a VPN in between them. So okay, let's create a new session because uh, the Azure deployment is actually still running, so let me copy some scripts. And actually, I only need the TP2 deployment, so here we go. And new file. This is the region we need to um, go over when we're going to connect to an Azure Stack environment. So we need to add the Azure environment into PowerShell. So that's what I'm doing here. Uh, this script is available on the documentation page as well. So let me log in. And let's be like this. Here we go. All right. Okay, so we are logged in. So now I can also set a location because I need a parameter file from my local machine. Um, let's take a look if I can retrieve my subscription. Here we go. Uh, actually, I have nothing deployed yet in this environment, so we'll take this same hybrid cloud resource group which we're going to create, create and take a look at the location. Uh, we only have one region in Azure Stack, which is local, so I'm going to specify region local. I'm putting the same deployment settings parameters in a variable. Note the template file is pointing to the same file as the Azure deployment and I'm using a different Azure Stack deploy dot parameter dot JSON file which will differentiate the deployment within Azure. So let's start the deployment and now in the background also my Azure Stack deployment is running and if we peek into this deployment let's see if we can see it already hybrid cloud here we go and we have some resources already there yep here we go so now it's just a matter of waiting until actually both deployments are finished and then we can connect those two environments up to each other with some with a VPN connection I will pause this video and when it's finished I will come back Okay, it looks like my deployment in Azure Stack is finished and I was waiting until my Azure environment was also finished. So you see here the Azure environment is succeeded, what I was hoping for. And we see that the Azure Stack deployment is also succeeded. So let's take a quick look. And uh, we see in the Azure environment we have a succeeded with all the resources and remember that we specified for the local gateways on both sides the 1.2.3.4 so what I need to do now is I need to take a look at my gateway IP which is assigned to my gateway and I need to take this and copy it over to the Azure Stack portal and the other way around so I've copied this IP address and now I'll go to the Azure Stack portal and I will go to my local gateway so this is actually the Azure gateway so it's loading up and it still has the IP address 1.2.3.4 so we'll go to configurations and change that and save it okay and you might notice that the gateway IP in Azure Stack is still empty. So in order to retrieve this IP address the only option that I have is to establish already this side of the tunnel. So what I will do is we go to the Azure Stack deployment 
we are going to specify a pre-shared key uh, we're going to take the gateway in a variable we take the local gateway in a variable and if you might notice that we have here the gateway and the local gateway so gateway IP, gateway IP address is updated with the correct prefixes so now we can connect the Azure Stack to Azure VPN tunnel using this commandlet and if everything is fine and working after a couple of seconds I should get a notification and should see in the portal that my gateway gets an IP address so let me refresh this here is the connection and now we see the gateway IP address so what I'm doing is I'm copying this IP address and I will strip it down a bit so I can copy and paste it now I go to the Azure portal and select local gateway configuration update the IP address save it while this is saving actually I can now go already back to the portal go to my other session where the deployment of my Azure was done I take the same pre-shared key we take actually the same commandlets for the gateway and the local gateway and if everything is correct we have here the local gateway and let me check did I do this correctly no this is the wrong one let me quick take a look you see what happened my Azure Stack POC data all of a sudden is in my session here so let me log in again so that's the reason why you need to check your data you put it to variables <laughs> so I'm logging in at the moment I'm going to reselect my subscription again and let me see if get Azure RM resource group yeah so this is all my data in Azure so we're back in business again um, one and two here we have the gateway and this is correct because this is West Europe and this is the correct IP address and also West Europe so now connect Azure to Azure Stack and while we're waiting uh, oh, it might happen that while we're waiting it will all of a sudden pop up to connect it once everything is fine let's take a look in Azure as well refresh uh, let me do it this way <coughs> we have here the connection unknown so at least the gateways and the IP addresses matches and it's just a matter of time usually before we get the status connected and there we go they are connected so I in the meantime downloaded also the file for my Azure VM uh, to see if we can really connect between the two sites so what I did is while the Azure deployment was still running I logged into the two Azure Stack VMs as service administrator and created the portal for the load balancing so what we will do now is we will connect to the VM connected we deployed in Azure and we're going to connect to our Azure Stack load balancer IP address and see if the traffic gets uh, load balance between the two VMs okay so in order to get the load balancer IP address let's go back to the portal and take the Azure Stack portal and what we will do is we'll go to the internal load balancer 
And what I also changed uh, while the Azure deployment was still running is usually I connect everything on HTTPS. For the sake of this demo, I change it back to port 80 so I can connect to the HTTP port instead of HTTPS because I didn't want to arrange all the certificates and so on. So this is my Azure VM running in Azure and I need to set up my IAE settings. I'm going to paste the address for the load balancer and this is MAS VM01. Let's try to refresh it a couple of times. Here's MAS2, MAS1, MAS2, MAS1. So you see actually I'm being load balanced from within the Azure VM between the two instances. So to prove, this is IPS 104.40.188.84 and just to make sure that I'm not fooling with you guys is if I go to my Azure VM 001 it does has this 104.40.188.84 public IP address so I'm connecting from my Azure VM through the VPN tunnel which is going to my Azure Stack environment hitting my internal load balancer and my internal load balancer has a rule that is going to define port 80 to the backend pool which consists actually of my two MAS VMs in Azure Stack. Okay? So that was my demo for so far. Uh, I would like to thank you for watching. If you have any questions leave them in the comment below or um, further follow Azure Stack EU on Twitter uh, or myself uh, at Mark Schoolman and thank you very much and have a good day.